Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids Lab, making science super fun and super simple. Today we're going to show you the science of a plasma ball. All you're going to need is a plasma ball and probably somewhere to plug it in as well. Once it's plugged in, switch on your plasma ball and straight away you've got some amazing science happening. The ball is comprised of three main parts. There's the sphere on the outside, there's the conductor on the inside, and filling the ball is what they call noble gases. This helps to create trails of plasma. The human body is able to conduct electricity, so when you touch the side of the ball, the electricity is conducted towards you. This is why when you touch the ball, the colour and the intensity of the plasma light seems to change. You can try using different parts of your body and you'll see that it works much the same way. If you try using other objects like a pencil, you'll find that they do attract some electricity, but not as much. The great thing about this is that you can use lots of different objects, made of different materials, to see what's conductive and what's not. Glowing liquid metal. You're going to need some pliers, a highlighter pen, ferrofluid, a pipette, a small dish, and a magnet. Use the pipette to squirt a small amount of the ferrofluid into your small dish. Ideally, you want to just about cover the bottom layer of your container. Then use the pliers to snap off the top of your highlighter. And then use them to very carefully pull out the sponge that's in the middle of your pen. This is what holds the highlighter ink. Use your fingers and the pliers to squeeze the ink into the container. You'll see that it starts to mix together with the ferrofluid. Place the magnet underneath the container and you'll see that it pulls the ferrofluid towards it. If we put this mixture under a black light, you'll see that it creates some amazing patterns. It looks particularly cool because the highlighter fluid glows in the dark and the ferrofluid doesn't, it just looks black. You can make this experiment even more interesting by snapping open a different coloured highlighter. For this version, we've used a pink highlighter. You can see that the colours mix together and create all sorts of weird shapes. To me, this looks like the surface of an alien planet. And up close, the area around the magnet looks like the eyeball of some sort of weird insect. This is a really unusual experiment, and one that you can have lots of fun with. You can try with all sorts of different coloured highlighters, a stronger or weaker light, and different sizes of magnet. Boil water with ice. For this experiment, you're going to need a chopping board, a thermometer, a frying pan, a glass bottle with some water inside, a glass, and some ice cubes. The first step is to place your pan on top of the hob, put your bottle inside the pan, and then turn on the gas. If you have an electric hob, you don't need to use a frying pan. You can just place the bottle directly onto the hob. The water will heat up and start to boil. Once it reaches boiling point, carefully remove it from the pan and screw the lid back on top you'll see that the water is still bubbling. Place your bottle upside down inside the glass. Then place a few ice cubes on top of the bottle. You'll notice that the water has stopped bubbling. But when you place the ice on top of the glass, it will start to bubble again. Keep your eye on the water. You'll see that as the ice sits on top of the bottle, the water starts to boil again. 
This is because the ice on top of the bottle cools down the air inside. This reduces the pressure and lowers the boiling point of the water, meaning that instead of having to reach 100 degrees Celsius, it only has to reach a lower temperature in order to boil. So you're literally boiling water with ice. Then turn the bottle back the right way up and measure the temperature of the water. It was at approximately 70 degrees Celsius, meaning we got water to boil at only 70 degrees instead of 100, which is pretty cool.